darlings. Here's my first contact with the art of love tarot that I never planned to buy. But I did. I saw it on a page. And then I checked the graphics and I thought, oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I've never had anything similar to this, so why not? I want to try. So let's look what's inside of this beautiful box. It's quite big. Uh, plastic, covered in plastic. Uh, not easy to get rid of it. Yes, I will. Yeah, so here's the box. It's quite solid. The first hint, first look on graphics, they, they are really, there's something very heartwarming about about them okay mm -hmm. the main illustration looks like this let's open it and see what's inside not that easy you know <laughs> uh, it won't give up easily Open. All right. So, mm -hmm. good for books. And I think we have a book here. That's the back, and that's the front. It's um, the pages are slightly sepia. So there is a hint to uh, a hint of uh, vintage touch to it. Contents: major arcana, minor arcana, angels, hearts, trees, and stars. I think angels are swords, hearts are cups, trees are pentacles, and stars are f uh, fire, so uh, rods or wands. So it's not a little white book. Mm -hmm. We have keywords connected to major arcanas, mm, minor arcanas with astrological associations. Yeah, and here's uh, the meaning from the traditional deck, as I said. Court cards, angels, etc., etc. How to use the Art of Love Tarot, so we have um, short instruction, what to do, how to pose a question, how to shuffle, what to do with jumping cards, interesting, spreads, reverse cards, clarifying card, the future, uh, and spreads, the creative heart, the Art of Love, spread, it's uh, it looks similar to Celtic cross, but as far as I see, it's not uh, it's not the same. The meaning of cards isn't the same. And then we have the the meanings. As you can see, uh, there's a small black and white illustration of the card uh, at the top left corner, and description and meaning. And correlation with Rider Waite, Rider Waite Smith, I should say. Not, let's not forget about Smith in this. Okay, it goes like this. Yeah, also available some other decks propose in it. All right, about the artist. So this is the author. I think you can find her on YouTube. Uh, she seems a very nice person. And the artist. I was sure she, it was she. <laughs> but Tony Carmina Salerno. It's definitely him. Not her. Okay. Let's look at the cards. I, 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 I wasn't sure of the actual size of them at first I thought uh, they're gonna be large 
and I was right. They are almost as large as a uh, Druid Craft Tower deck, as you can see. So not very handy, a little smaller, so it may be easier to shuffle them, but still quite large. That's the back. It's quite glossy, as you can see, and they are quite sturdy, solid, but also um, not very... Mm, not very silky. It has some uh, yeah, they won't just, you know, escape like they often do. Hmm? All right. So the beginning is the fool rising from the lotus flower, I think. The magician as you can see, each card has its subtitle. The artwork is stunning. The High Priestess, she looks exactly like uh, Black Madonna from my country. So, a uh, rendition, uh, one of the facets of Goddess here. I love it. I love this card. The Empress, Mother, looks asleep the emperor father so peaceful the teacher the hierophant clarity the lovers union the path which is the chariot in traditional right away smith exploration really beautiful the destination shining number eight the force which is the strength number nine the retreat contemplation this is the hermit and you have the the rock in Australia I think a very famous rock The card's stunning, and it's so different than the Hermit, isn't it? There's nothing, nothing about this coldness of Hermit, but the solitude of this beautiful, magical. Number 10, the wheel, which is breakthrough. And it's the, the front page illustration, as you can see. Number 11, the Divine Order, which is uh, justice. And it's all about equilibri equilibrium. <laughs> the Turnaround Revolution, which is uh, Hanged Man. As you can see, you can look at this card in the reverse and it looks exactly the same. So this is the, the moment the time stands still. The Release. Metamorphosis, which is death in a traditional deck. A glimpse of it on her neck. Fourteen is the acceptance, harmony, which is the temperance, merging of different elements. Fifteen, the shadow, fear, devil, beautiful. Look your shadow in the eye. Sixteen. The ego, collapse. This is the tower. 17, the star, hope. 18, major arcana, the moon, which is illusion. Also very beautiful card. I don't think you see nuances. Maybe now it's, it's better visible, but the moon is also kind of complicated inside the sun vitality oh it's getting warmer when i look at this and number 20 the awakening emergence this is the judgment card the third eye fire in the eye 
and the universe expansion which is a nice uh, turning back to the beginning it's the same flower I guess hmm? now let's look at the courts we begin with swords angels so this is the ace two of angels balance three of angels normally quite a painful card but not here clarification aspect of three of swords is emphasized here and I like it very much because it's constructive four is rest five withdraw so not aggression but withdraw six transition seven progress nice I like this interpretation eight confusion yeah inter interference nine guardian I don't quite understand this uh, why nine of swords is like guardian but I will know and surrender as ten page of angels mysticism knight of angels the watcher that's really nice queen of angels visionary and king of angels peaceful warrior okay now hearts cups ace of hearts winged heart love two of hearts union again so it's the same as mm, major arcana number six i think it's very similar look yeah the same pose Okay, so two of hearts, three of hearts joy, four of hearts depression, such a nice card, five of hearts sorrow, six of hearts the past, seven of hearts choices to be made, wow, I love this third eye here. <laughs> Eight of Hearts, codependency. Interesting. Nine of Hearts, stability. And Ten of Hearts, culmination. Page of Hearts, in a sense. Knight of Hearts, romance. Queen of Hearts, sixth sense. Mm. She looks like Queen of Pentacles to me very much. I don't know why. But the colors are usually used with pentacles and king of hearts is a healer okay now the trees trees are pentacles in this deck ace of trees i really love this card look at it it's gorgeous it's so full of life <laughs> full of life full of meaning things taking form i wonder what's written in the in the background creation dream hmm? i will check it later two of trees flexibility wow dedication look at this card look just look at this card This is stunning art. Four of trees, growth. Five of trees, limitation. Oh, <laughs> I wish for this limitation for me. Six of trees, receiving. I just realized <laughs> that uh, the, 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 the background, I mean the border, has a color. It's pale green for trees. It's pale blue for angels. It's pale pink for hearts. I haven't seen it before. Six of trees receiving. Seven of trees. Look at this. Contemplation. Wow. I love this deck. 
already. <laughs> Eight of Trees, skill. Nine of Trees, refinement. And the Ten, loyalty. Page of Trees, look, huh, dreamer. You look like a holy ghost. Absolutely wonderful. The light. Uh, I've never seen such such a light in any of the decks I used. Not in every card, but in this card and several others. Knight of Trees, Custodian. Oh, Queen of Trees. She's a nurturer. Wonderful. And the architect, king of trees. That's perfect. And now stars, so wands. Uh, the border is pale. I don't know, it's just pale. <laughs> I, I, it can be yellow or orange, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> so, ace of wands, two of wands, boldness. Three of Wands. Again, the light visions. Wonderful. Four of Stars. Advancement. This is magical, really. Five of Stars. Diversity. Wow. I mean, look at the details here. These little beds, little lines. They make it really alive. Look at this detail here. I love it. Six of stars, success. Ta -da! Seven of stars, faith. Eight of stars, surge. Nine of stars, perseverance. Yeah. And ten, hoarding. Again, look at the detail. masterful page of stars curiosity yeah that's precisely what i think about page of uh, page of wands i always felt it like curiosity of the world knight of stars adventurer queen of stars illuminator oh how humble she is and the last card is king of stars and he's the alchemist okay so another big deck in my life together with druidcraft tra tarot and mariel tarot but these cards fit better this, these few millimeters uh, of difference make a really big difference uh, they are easy to handle these are not easy to, <laughs> the easy to handle for my hand. I can't hold them. But these ones, no problem. No problem, really. So, it's quite, quite a nice size for average female hands. So, if you had any... Uh, considerations regarding the size I think it's not a problem really they are still quite big and it's good because you can see the detail of the uh, of the illustration of the artwork which is very precious and but again you can easily shuffle and and spread them and yeah this is this is solid this is solid work I like it very much and I I think I can recommend it. I think I will work with them very soon. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. I always repeat questions. Uh, if you want to book a private reading, you also have the information below. So, thank you once more. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.